What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of the Warhammer 40k 8th slash new edition rules update snippets that are coming out. I don't know what else to call it really. I've printed out the fight phase ones and morale I think is the other one. Morale, yes, morale. So I'm going to go through those and see what we can see. I've literally just printed them out. I haven't read through them. So we'll have a look at it together. Right, I'll read it as it's written. Uh, okay, so new Warhammer 40,000 fight phase. All right, so let's go. Let's get down to the best phase. It says combat, unless you're a fire warrior. Sorry. Now this is part of the new Warhammer 40,000 with some of the biggest changes. Ooh. So okay. I mean, let's bear. I'm bearing in mind that all these things that we go through here. That's not going to be all of them, and it's certainly not going to be the rule set. So when the rule set finally does come out, which I believe is 17th of June, not long now, we'll we'll get some, you know, a lot more answers to our questions. Um, we've already seen in our article on unit profiles that initiative has gone. Yes, we have. Instead, the priority for striking is based on the previous phase, with those units that completed the charge swinging first. Now, to me... That says charging unit goes first every time to me. Uh, there's a definite emphasis on making charging into combat effective. These units have gotten all the way across the battlefield. They've braved enemy fire and overwatch, and now they finally made it into combat. They will at the very least get to swing. See, to me, it doesn't say every time, every turn, but to me, that's what it says. That they'll always go first. I hope that is the case. Okay. Units that activate gain a free. Hang on, try to get this in the right place. Units that activate gain a free, as in F R W -E, a free three inch move towards the closest enemy. This can be used to get within one inch of other enemy units if you're cunning dragging more foes into the melee and preventing them from shooting next turn even if you didn't charge them directly giving them no chance to overwatch yeah enemy gun lines will need to be careful about how they position their supporting units so as to avoid getting dragged into the fight too that's very interesting i'm looking forward to going through that i want to run some scenarios with my armies uh, once the rules do come out I'm going to set up a little skirmish event and run through things like that because that's, that's a very interesting change and see exactly how effective it is like I say I, I want to run uh, through new changes uh, and compare them to what would have been done you know in 7th edition uh, following charges, players take it in turns to activate units across the board to fight. This can get quite tactical as both players need to choose the combats where dealing maximum damage will be important to them while trying to limit enemy retaliation on their valuable or fragile models. Hmm. There are a few units that can interrupt this sequence to attack out of turn two. Tyranids with Lash Whips and Slaneshi Demons, for example. And it can be also influenced by Stratagems. More on these soon. I, I don't know anything about these. If your battle... If your battle... If your battle... If your army is battle-forged, all of which will add a nuanced level of tactical depth to the phase. Does that make sense? I'll read it again. There are a few units that can interrupt this sequence to attack out of turn two. Tyranids with Lash Whips and Slaneshi Demons, for example. And it can also be influenced by stratagems more on these soon. If your army is battle-forged, all of which can add a nuanced level of tactical depth to the phase. Well, I presume that's going to become clear once the rules come out. And uh, it'd be nice, I think, for GW to put out what I'm going to do. I see I'm going to run through a couple of the changes. It would be nice if GW did a, a couple of videos on that on their channel to say look this is how this 
situation will work. Players will have much more influence over the outcome of combat now, rather than purely the stats of the models involved, both in their own and in the opponent's turns, though we still wouldn't expect Guardsmen to triumph over a unit of Corn Berserkers anytime soon, fixed bayonets. Another thing we have seen is that hit rolls are now fixed. This has the effect of making dedicated combat units generally hit on a 3+, while models representing the most competent warriors of the 41st millennium, Gilly, Gilliman, the Swarm Lord, Gazgill Fracker, to name but a few, will now hit on a 2 plus. Ooh. Close combat weapons, which we'll look at in more detail in future, also gain new rules. Some will slice through armor easily, while others will hit with enough force to cause. Uh, to cause. It says here, to cause deal. I think you need to have one of the words. Multiple wounds that can cripple or even kill enemy powerful enemy models. Across the board, these changes lead to combats that are more deadly than ever. Generals who successfully coordinate a battlefield-wide charge will be rewarded with a phase of utter carnage, while their opponent will have to work hard to minimise uh, taking damage and carefully consider their retaliatory options. Expect combats to be hard fought, bloody and tactical just as they should be. We'll be back tomorrow with some new de details on morale after we've seen the damage that shooting psychic powers and combat can do. Can you blame anyone for running away? See I heard some people say oh it's not going to be that good as you know melee's not going to be that good as everyone's making it but I think it will be. I think if I am right in saying the uh, charging player will go first, it doesn't say every time, but from what that hints at, it is every time. Excuse my dogs, they uh, barking. Um, but yes, uh, I think that will be every time. And yeah but like i say it'd be nice if they put up a couple of examples on that just to clarify you know um establish like a definitive on on what's what it would be lovely if they could actually i'm, I'm not expecting them to put the, the whole rules out on videos otherwise nobody would need to buy the rules but it'd be nice to have like faqs and things done on video that would be that would be phenomenal and little examples on a table that would be yeah that's what they need to do. Anyway, we're moving on to morale now. Yeah, morale. Yeah. There's only three pages on this one, so they're not they're not touching on it as in depth. I suppose there's much to say really, but we'll see. Okay, so they say in the forty first millennium, morale plays a vital role. Battles can be won and lost by the brave actions of a few stubborn defenders or defeat caused by the panicked flight of key elements of an enemy force. Yes, I agree. Morale has always been a part of Warhammer 40,000. In the past edition, though, it did often seem that in a lot of games it could be largely ignored. So many units were immune to its various effects. Where it did apply, though, you had to take a lot of tests. It was conceivable that a unit might have to take over half a dozen leadership tests in a turn, which had the effect of bogging down the game. Yeah, I agree with that, definitely. So this is sounding good then. The new morale phase is simple and only happens once per player turn. At the end of all your other phases, it will apply to almost every unit and represent warriors fleeing the battlefield, dying from the psychic feedback shockwaves of their allies, or retreating with injured or fallen brethren. There will be very few units indeed that will not feel its effects good the mechanics are simple any units that suffered casualties in a turn must take a morale test at the end of it you just roll a d6 add the number of models from the unit that have been slain and if the number is bigger than the unit's leadership then the unit loses the difference in additional models Ooh. That's good. That's pretty good mechanic. I like that. Nice and simple. That's it. No units falling back. No regroup tests. All that is gone. Yes. 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 Because I thought that was a bit pants, really. Uh, you can see straight away this will be pretty brutal and mean. Units that suffer high casualties in a turn stand to lose a lot. A lot more come the morale phase if they roll poorly. Conversely... Single model units, like many vehicles, won't have to test, 
as there are units as there are units of one uh, there are no other models in this squad to lose there are a few things that can help you out in this phase a chaos dark apostle for example allows all nearby units from the same legion to use his leadership or you can use some units to make your opponent's tests more difficult the hemlock wraith fighter for as an example decreases the leadership of enemy units by one if they are within 12 inches which equates to one additional lost model on every failed test so that's morale we've run through all the phases of the game now tomorrow we'll look at some new background and lore and new warhammer 40,000 and then on friday We'll take a look at Battleford Darmies. So, my thoughts on that are: it's going to create a lot more synergy with your with your army, and you are really going to have to be a lot more tactical about who you take in your army, what units you attach them to, and where you you know displace your your units to on the battlefield on the board. I like that. That's got an air of War Machine to it. Slight War Machine-esque feel to that mechanic, I think. That's just my own personal take on it. But I like it. I like it a lot. That is going to be probably good for the tournament scene, I think. Something like that. Because you've really got to be on the ball and think what you're doing when it comes to that. No, No more haphazard decisions you've really got to think now from what i've read over the all these phases that we've covered you've really got to think so a morale phase that's pretty damn cool i like that i like that a lot anyway thanks for watching as always i will uh, see you on the next video remember all brushes lead to war and bye for now folks goodbye bye bye